And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We've got Major League Baseball on a Tuesday night. It's the San Francisco Giants going up against the Atlanta Braves. Along with Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars in the sport. Ronald Acuna Jr. Always exciting to see him in action. And it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, but again, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. And this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. He's racked up over 2,000 strikeouts in his career. He's such a competitor out in the mound. So fun to watch him work. I'm excited for this one. Good All eye two. in that spot. It's a good take. Two balls, two strikes. High in the air, out to right. And Acuna able to make the grab. Here's the Giants lineup. And a big factor for them in recent games, Austin Slater. He's been a solid force for his team right Aye. now. Kind of a fire starter when All you consider an on-base percentage over 400 over the last 10 games. That's solid, consistent work. Aye. He's making things happen for this offense right now. Oh, two the count. And the pitch. Three. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Snuck the fastball by him. And now it's Wilmer Flores. That cutter right there had just enough Ball movement on it to get the swing and miss. It wasn't a great location by any means. That's typically a spot that hitters can handle. So I'd say he fooled him with just enough yeah. of that late action. Next offering in there for a strike. And it's one and one. Right through there for a strike. Two outs, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one. Back here with my pal Singy. And on the hill, Logan Webb. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball. But for some reason... He gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. One, two. Chopped out in front of the play. Sends it to he's Flores. Out. One gone, bottom half of the first. That is second. Here's Brian Stinker's lineup for the Braves. An offense that knows how to mash, Chris. Lots of power throughout the lineup. They're leading the league in homers right now. Yeah, and I think when you're facing a team like this, pitchers coming in, they see the stats. They end up trying to nibble, trying to work on the edges, trying to expand the zone. And so I think the key, if these hitters can stay within themselves, obviously they have the ability to hit the ball a long way and score runs quickly. So we'll see how it goes in this one. Outside low, and it's one and two. It affects the game in so many ways, right? Your ability to come back is usually tied to power. If you can deliver a huge hit with one swing of the bat, I it feel. Really changes your capability. How are you doing? Behind. First. Hot shot to third. Throws the first. Three up, three down. Three the second one. inning here in Atlanta. Fielder, Jorge Soler. Jorge. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Doing pretty good. A former all-star. He throws a slurve, a four-seamer, a changeup, oh, a cutter, and he works in a sinker. Ricky Holiday, our umpire behind the dish, known as pretty fair umpire for both hitters and pitchers. Yeah, I think that's right, Boo. There is a little inconsistency on the corners of the plate. You can't always be sure how it's going to go with those borderline pitches as the game progresses. The Giants are your team. <laughs> the umpire scouting reporter, even who is going to be umpiring. Not a whole lot. I mean, there are a 
Straight three. But outside of that, you just kind of went into the game, especially back when I was playing. Lamont Wade Jr. batting with one down, takes a strike. Second inning here, no score. On the ground to the left. Arcia whips it to first. Two away. Two up, two down to the top of the second. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's J.D. Davis. Breaking ball in there for a strike. That one fouled off. That's the third. Right. Whips it to first. Three up, three down. Second inning, bottom of the second for the Braves. Bottom of the second. Here's Austin Riley. The third base Webb back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Right side, hard hit. Sends it to four. That's one out the bottom of the second. And now Matt Olsen up to hit. The first base Matt Olsen. Missed with a changeup. And that's ball one. That ball. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. One ball. I just had to miss the swing there. And another ball. Q2. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. One down, base is empty. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Two two now. Oh, right there on the inside corner. No, you know that's gonna be very that was a good pitch. For this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well, and you know what? Good hitters are not gonna compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. And there's a hit, and that keeps the inning alive. Waste no time there. Just a solid that swing right, right there. Caught it out no line. Left. Lifted into the outfield for the base hit. Those oh, always feel great. Good. Marcelo Zuna stands in here. Oh, one. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. That one is absolutely belted. Yastrzemski raging back towards the wall. It in no in the second. Track. One hit, no runs. Third inning of baseball. So one hit is all Still scoreless for both the Giants and the Braves. The all set for the start of the inning. Mike Yastrzemski up here. That's the ball. Checks his swing. Appeal down to third. And he held back according to Dave Lawrence. Now one and one. Mike Yastrzemski, originally one drafted by the Orioles, 14th round out of Vanderbilt in 2013. The Giants got him in March of 2019. And San Francisco's really He's where he got a shot to play. So oh, you did? Awesome yeah, I heard about it. I'm sad. Here in the third. Truly one of the best players in history. Marco oh, Luciano right in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Top of the third, no score. On the ground. Throw on to Olsen, and that quickly two away. Patrick Bailey getting ready to hit. And a foul ball. Here comes a pitch. On the ground right side. Ground balls have ruled the inning. In we go to the bottom of the third three. here in Atlanta. Nine straight retired here to start. As we go to the last of the third. Here's Orlando Arcia. Orlando. Arcia. As he turns on the rubber. Here with that 
Good live arm delivers. Foul ball there. You'll want. And that one fouled off. Outside low. And that's ball one. Slider misses outside. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get right where you want. Swing and a ground ball off the middle. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. He's been swinging it really well lately. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. He just shot it through the infield. Here's Sean Murphy. Seems like he's making contact with everything lately. Can make it a five-game hitting streak with a knock in this Aye. one. And that drops in for a strike. Oh, one's the count. The old oh, one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Rudder at first with no outs here. That's a good pitch. So the lineup flips over. Here's the center fielder. That was a good pitch. Nothing they could do about that one. I waited to the last second. Good circle change. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch. That's a no-no. In the air, left field. And there's two. Away. Oh, the game, yeah. Here's Jerry Kelman. He's all for one. The designated hitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go in there. That's inside. Ball one. Jags through that one for strike one. One and one. A lot of times you'll see a bad location. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. Fouls it off, still one and two. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Davis. Now we're in the third for the Braves. One hit. One hit. On to That's it. Number four. Braves lost, finally lost the game to the Pirates last series. Which we won 12 straight before our first loss. That one catches the zone, and it's not again two. Braves trying to get back into the web column. Bravo. Nice. On the ground, right side. Throw on to Olsen. One up, one down. One away. Austin Slater stands in. Oh, Just missed. I'll pay attention more to when the playoffs are getting closer. I like opening weekend. I mean, I'll keep up with it, but... I watch opening weekend and I watch when the playoffs get closer. The Giants still looking for their first hit in this one. Foul ball. That one ripped. Harris going back on this one. Makes the catch up against the wall. 
What an outstanding effort going all the way back to the warning track and leaving his feet to bring that. Oh no, I pitched it in the middle. So to jump on the run like that and time it perfectly. So that was awesome. Flores takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Slapped hard the other way, but foul. Two outs. Out to short, Arcia. And that will end the inning. What a great job by Michael Harris Jr. to catch an incredible catch. Scoreless. The warning track still scoreless here in Atlanta. Back at Truist Park, bottom four, and now Ronald Acuna Jr. Ronald Acuna Jr. Swing and a miss. Oh one the count. That flips the corner. One, two. And the righty deals. Oh. Missed with a changeup. Now one and two. Out to short. Luciano. Nope. No play. That's an infield single. They said. <laughs> and try to start a rally if you're leading off an inning. So an infield single does the job right there. Now we'll see if they can make something happen. Now at the plate, Austin Riley. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Over to Luciano. Turns it. Almost got a double out of that. Unfortunately prevented him from being able to get two. But a good job to stay with it and make now sure you got at least one. Matt Olsen up to the plate. Scoreless oh, here, yeah. but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. Left-hand hitter waits. There's a swing and a drive. Yastrzemski ranging back. And that is the Two run blasts. He made him pay for 41st home run, home run of the season. First home run of the season. It's 2-0. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching. And devours that one for a homer. And, you and the can Braves see take a two nothing lead. lead. Of himself at bat after at bat, he's that confident. <laughs> Took on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it over the wall. I thought for a second he brought it back out there too. Gave it a great effort, but you know, just so tough to pull off. too I'm much sure of the law. Have another shot at it. Swing and a foul straight back. And he deals. Bounce to the left side. Davis with the throw to first. Two and Albies is retired. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the left fielder, Marcelo Zuna. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. And a foul ball. Going to now. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. A little blooper. on base and keeps it going anything but pretty right there no, but he'll no, take no, it no. every time no, there are a lot of nicknames no, no. attached to hits like that no, blue no. flare duck scored lawn dart etc but whatever you want to call it it's a knock no, and those can. are the ones that'll make you smile as a hitter just about every time and a pitch just a slow oh, a little ball. grounder Tosses to first, and that'll do it. The Braves tack on two with a Matt Olsen two-run blast. Two-run homer. Two-nothing Atlanta. Two-nothing ball game. Back here in Atlanta, we go to the top of the fifth. Now it's the right fielder, Jorge Soler. Close one, doesn't get the call. And it's one to know. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. 
Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. A line to kick the pitch. Got him looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Oh, just excellent location on that inside fastball. It really locked him off, man. As a hitter, it's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in, so you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball, but either way, that's a really nice pitch. Two away. Across the diamond, and a couple of quick outs. Now it's J.D. Davis. That clips the corner. Davis, 30 years old now, and he was a third-round pick. Back in 2014. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Gets a piece and it stays 0-2. Man, he barely got a hold of that one. The Giants trailing by two here in game one of this three-game set. And the Giants get their first hit of the game here in the bottom, top of the fifth. Well, we lost the perfect game. <laughs> oh, well. It happens. You know, these Braves doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out twice, so they keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball. Wouldn't chase that time. And there's a foul ball. And the right hander deals. And a swing. Good and a fastball. And that's the first out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of now the strike zone. We're seeing more good. fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Harris up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Right hander kicks deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Righty delivers. Battling here as he fouls it away. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. And a base hit. One down. Jared Kellner now at the plate. Almost drove one out of here last time up. Flied out to the warning track. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. Oh, wow. This is a great dynamic right here. Speedy runner at first, thinking about taking second. Catcher with the pop time that leaves Jaws on I the swung game. early. Interesting, <laughs> no. One away. And another ball. Three. Got it by him. Wow. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. One Good pitch. Two. Chase it. Uh, Change up. He swings and fouls one off. 
No, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he's attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This is a grinder. Four is out of the second. Ends the inning. One hit. No runs for the Braves. Sixth inning coming up. Top six. And digging in for San Francisco, Marco Luciano. That clips the zone. And that is strike one. And he takes a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to Got him. Strike three. Out, of a slur. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Bailey stands in now and watches strike one. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And a pitch. Not one close with that two one. Three. And a count, one and two. The wind of the pitch. Struck him out swinging. Snuck the fastball by him. Back to the top of the lineup. Tyro Estrada to the plate. That one finds the zone. Going to one. All one's the count. And there's the strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, He's gonna have to bear down and makes the play. And three up, three down. Make it six two nothing Atlanta to the bottom of the six. And welcome back to the ballpark. Well, we go bottom six. Here's a big power threat. Austin Riley. First pitch swinging. Signs of movement in the Giants bullpen. Tyler Rogers appears to be getting loose. Number 74 getting loose as well. Comes up empty. Good pitches. The pitch. Out to short, Luciano. Fires over One away. First. One away, bottom of the six. Deceptive slider right there, stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over. And Matt Olsen, who hit the two run blast. Is he gives the Braves the two-run lead. And a big swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. The wind and the pitch. Inside and it hit him. Well, anytime one of your hitters gets drilled, it catches everyone's attention in the dugout. And you know what? It kind of gets you fired up. Fans not happy about that one. At first, one gone. Got a good eye there. No, he's really working him away to sit back, sometimes take a little bit off velocity, try to get a rollover, something on the ground, stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Just missed. These low pitches, man. The pitch. Spoils that one Barely got a hold of it. This guy's seen two change-ups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. High fastball coming. Kicks and deals. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. That was a really nice pitch call for that put-away slider. That was a good slider. Right look at the sequence in that at bat, and he hadn't thrown it yet, so... This makes it really tough to recognize and fight off with two strikes. I'm sure it looked like a fastball all the way until it wasn't. On the ground. No. Nope. And that chance handled. Sends it to first. Out Nothing for the Braves shooting the sixth. Inning. Seventh inning of baseball. But they're on top Up next. 
New inning getting started. Now the number two hitter, Austin Slater. And that's in for a strike. Next offering in there for a strike. Pull a two down. Popped up. Should have this one. Falls it in. One away. Down. One down. Wilmer Flores, the next to hit. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Swings and blasts one. Line drive. And the Giants are on the board. And they're on the board. It's 2-1. That could be one of those swings that really helps spark this offense. Bad pitch. <laughs> and the Giants have scored two to one score now in the seven. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Base is empty one away. Here's a cleanup hitter for the Giants. Jorge Soler. That hey. one's in there. And it's 0-1. Sliced hard, but foul. Holding on to a one-run lead here in the top half of inning number seven. Come on. That's the third. Rolls across the diamond. Two away. It out. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter and a tough one at that. Wait, in the box again, takes a strike. <laughs> Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. Looking to get the tying run on base. Got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. Strike three. But the Giants, Wilmer Flores, solo blast. And the Giants. You're Girl, one run closer. Two to one. Bottom of the seventh here in Atlanta. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Tyler. Tyler Rogers. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Arcia at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. Wow, no fair right there. I mean. That slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult ball, to pick right. that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. Okay, right. More baseball. Here's a one two. And That's that just thing. misses. Really good Sidearm nonsense. <laughs> Sidearm nonsense. Gotta love it. Next offering is downstairs. The pitch. And that's ball four. Ball four. So, man aboard. And next for Atlanta, Sean Murphy. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. That one off the mark. One and oh. Garcia gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Swing and a high five. That's gone. Deep left field. That's back there. And Two run blasts by Sean Murphy. So he goes yard. Four to one year score. It's four one. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of play, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. 
Now in for the Braves, Michael Harris. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. Next offering is down low. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. That one out to right. And it's a pop up. Solaire sizing this one up. Hauls it in. At the wall. And there's one down. You get this game, you get PS5? Yeah. Next up for the Braves. Oh. Hard hit left side. Good hit. Luciano oh. fires the first. And they get the out. The right field. Here's a Cunha now. One for three. Line and that's a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Next to hit, Austin Riley. Oh, grounded is short. Four is out of second. Into seven. But Sean Murphy's two run blast. It's now four one. Raise up front. We go to the eighth. Now the third baseman, JD Davis. Number seven. Morton back to work. Fastball for a strike. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Now a screamer into the outfield. Harris. One away. The and there's one down. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. Right down to shoot. And that's strike one. On the ground to third. In plenty of time to first. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Two outs, base is empty. Now, now, now. Digging in, the Marco Luciano. Marco Luciano. The shortstop takes the ball. Next offering is in for a strike. The Braves leading by three, and we're at the top of the eighth. Oh. Field. And that is that. Three up, three down. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Atlanta looking to extend the lead. So the Giants with a new pitcher on the hill, number 74. He's pitching on two days rest. Here now is Matt Olson. He's already homered here in this one. Ryan Walker. The pitch. Up the middle. Nice grab. Over to first, and He's very out. nicely done for the out. Really nice job to get your first. And first that ball. offering is fouled off. Ball oh. one there. Action in what the San one? Francisco bullpen. Taylor Rogers, a lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Back, a right-hander, loosening up as well. One down, base is empty. Oh. And a foul ball. <laughs> All right, man. Appreciate you stepping by. Righty to the plate. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Throw to first. Got him. Sure. Gone after the strikeout. You hear people talk about letting the ball travel so often in terms of a hitting approach, and that's a great example why right there. If he's willing to let that curveball get a little deeper into the zone before he commits, he's way more likely to recognize that it's making a beeline for the dirt. On the other side, still a nice two-strike pitch, though. Swings and chases a low one there. Two curveball. Two 
Two down, nobody on. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Come on. You know, one, two, three innings. We go to the ninth. Giants, last chance. Back here in Atlanta. And now the catcher comes up to him. Patrick Bailey. And first offering is fouled off. I mean, his pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead and count. At times, pitch to contact, let the defense work behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. And a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. You just don't see it that much anymore. A guy being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if he's going to be able to close it out. It's just something about that ninth inning. But being at under 100 pitches, he's still got plenty of fuel left in the tank. Here comes a pitch. In the air, right side. Makes the grab one down. Two away. Or one away, my bad. Slater, the next giant to hit. That's a base hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Wilmer Flores, the next giant to hit. And that's in for a strike. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Now beats the second. Game over. And that's a double play to end it. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. Braves win. Four to one over the Giants to take game one of this regular series, season series. He navigated through this ball game, a jam here, a jam there, but ultimately it was an outstanding outing. Four one the final here today. Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Shambi saying so long. And Giants made a run late in the ninth, but Charlie Morton able to seal the deal with the win as the Braves get back into the win column.